Visit thehonestcarpenter.com and get your home-related questions answered by a trade expert. Hi there, I'm Ethan James with thehonestcarpenter.com and I've got an interesting problem on a job site today. A uh, homeowner brought it up. They were, went to install a new deadbolt and they found when they took the old one off that the pass-through hole was too small to accommodate the flange of the new deadbolt, uh, which needs a two eighth inch hole and this one's only maybe about an inch and a quarter. This actually comes up a lot and the obvious solution is to drill a two and an eighth inch hole through the door, but that is not that easy as anybody who has attempted that knows because when you use a hole saw bit on a pre-existing hole, it's just gonna jitter and run around all over the place so it can't really bite the lumber like it needs to to begin to pass through. So I'm gonna show you a trick, pretty much the only trick, for getting a larger hole saw bit to bore a larger hole when you have a pre-existing hole in the door. The key to making this work is attaching a, a new piece of very thin lumber over the door so that the pilot bit in the hole saw has something to cut into to set the position of the hole saw and it, then it lets the teeth out at the outer circumference cut into the door and once they begin to cut on the door they'll have a path to travel to. So I'm going to make a, a small piece of scrap lumber that I can attach to the door on both sides one at a time and drill from both sides towards the center. So I've got my two and an eighth inch hole saw bit chucked into my half inch drill and I went ahead and got the pilot bit set and got the path started to make it easier to do this with one hand and I'm just going to drill through. And there, that's the plug I'm going to use on the door. There's the plug. I'm uh, holding up to the door to line it up. I really just do this by eye. And when I have it set where I want it, I draw little uh, lines around it with my pencil. And you can see that those lines are concentric with the pre-existing hole. And uh, I will shoot this onto the door with half inch brad nails, drill halfway through from this side and halfway through from the other side and uh, pull the plug out. There's the new hole. I ended up going all the way through from this side because the door is actually only one and three eighths. It's a fairly thin door and the wood wasn't fighting me much so I just completed it from this end and now I'll put on the lock set. There's the new lock set, fully installed. This is old scarring from contact with the jam, but let's see it closes, latches, and it's secure. That's how you rebore a lock set when you have to. We're now offering live video consultations and phone consultations to homeowners nationwide. To get your most important home-related questions answered by a trade expert, just visit thehonestcarpenter.com.